Hi and welcome to Newsline TV. My name is Grace and today we're talking about image and answering the most um, troublesome question for a lot of women, which is how do you transition into different images throughout the day? In studio, we have our image consultant, Nicole Karibusana. Thank you again. Nicole is going to tell us, to help us sort out this struggle that we usually go through as women every day. So say for instance, you, are, um, you work for a microfinance or yes. you're even a business person. Yes. You find that um, every day you have to wake up, get to the office first. That's usually a first thing. Then after that, you've got to attend a meeting, yeah. which means you've got to be dressed in that form. Yes. And then after that, you've got to get out to go and see clients, or maybe you're even in sales and marketing. Yeah. Most of the time, your clients are not usually in the same neighborhood mm -hmm. as your office. So they could be in an either more upmarket neighborhood mm -hmm. or a, a lower neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Say, for example, your office is in Upper Hill yeah. and your clients are in Gekomba. Yes. So how do you turn down from Upper Hill, where your office is, mm -hmm. to Gekomba so that you fit in with your clients? Mm -hmm. And then after that, you may have to go back to the office, write a report. So again, it means you go back to the office uh, looking, the looking part. yes, look the part. And you might have a thing in the evening with the yeah. clients or you know yeah. with your friends. How do you transition your day as a woman mm -hmm. so that you you are fit for every moment okay. of the day? Yeah. All right. Those are very many questions in one, and so we'll just try to break it down for our viewer mm -hmm. so that they are able to connect with each experience. Uh, I'll start with a lady who has to get up uh, and go to the office, and later on go to a client maybe in Kikomba or you know it's a microfinance so maybe when your client is out of town it's uh, Kikuyu or Kiambu. So ideally what you do is uh, as we said in our previous videos is that you plan your day well. Uh, you should have a, a good layout of your agenda for the day. It's always good to start with the heavy things first. If you have a meeting in the morning then it's very good that you come formally dressed uh, and from home just carry what else you'll need for the day. Is it uh, flats? Is it uh, a t-shirt or you know just a simple dress that you can change in from your formal suit as you maybe leave the office later. So here you are, you've gotten to the office and you need to just have two or three minute meetings before you leave, maybe departmental or even with your juniors and you want to deliver the message. So what you'll do is you'll walk in looking very formal and just start your, on your day on a high note and after that you'll be able to go through your meetings just the way they are co you know consecutive uh, and after you're done with that it's lunch time probably or it's time for you to leave the office uh, that's the time to maybe let yourself coatless maybe put the coat in the back of your car if you're living by a car if you're living by public means and it's good to leave it at the office because you probably come back to the office as you said earlier to come and write a report on your day's events. So you'll basically be dressed well in the morning, dressed very formally, looking the part and be able to communicate that with the desired effect to the people that you're meeting. And as you go on into your day, you offload. Yeah, you offload the look. That's how I like to say. Like if you're in a meeting with a very high senior people, you know, you're in good pump shoes, you're looking very nice, you're dressed the part and looking the part. As you now begin to go to the microfinance and you have to go to Gikomba, uh, high heels might not be very, very effective. So you need to have known this the previous day. And if it's impromptu, then work around what you have. So, you know, women are known to be very, very intuitive and very quick to think on their feet. So if you have to go to Gikomba and you have nothing to do, pass by a good shop like Bata, where you can get some nice, you know, uh, flip-ons uh, flip and just wear them like nice casual rubber shoes that still give a formal look to how you are and then go into Gikomba and do your business and come out if you have the privilege of a vehicle always have an extra pair of shoes in your trunk and make sure that they are they are formal you know they are mid formal so when you get there you don't overpower the client you don't overpower the environment and so you can just go in there and do your business and leave then now i'll be able to get the woman who's uh, formal all the way to evening where maybe after you're done with your day it's five o'clock you want to go get groceries and you came to the office 
probably in high heels and a coat, a suit, and you just want to go outside and just be a mother, for example. So how do you do that? So you get to the office, obviously, start with the heavy stuff like earlier. And as your day, you know, progresses on and it's nearly home time, you know, it's time to leave the office. Just change into a nice, you know, maybe uh, what suits wherever you're going. If it's the marketplace, is it very busy? Is it very crowded? You could just carry a, a set of jeans and a t-shirt that when you're leaving the office, you don't look too ragged. You just look like, oh yeah, okay, I guess she's going somewhere after this. So when you have that kind of attire ready because you had planned your day in advance, uh, then you'll be able to maneuver, go do your thing and be able to go home in a comfortable state and probably get what you want at the right price. Because obviously if you go looking pricey, then you get things pricey. But if you go looking the part, then you probably just want to fit in with everyone else, get a good exchange for your money. And that's it. Uh, is there anything I've not yet uh, maybe talked about? No, no, I think you, you have it all together. And I, I'm hearing from you, the trick is to have, um, like you're saying, offload. Yes. Is to have something you can actually offload. Yes. So that would be, the trick would be, for example, to always have like a jacket that you can yes. just put on. Yes. And it changes everything. Yes. Or shoes that you can just yes. wear and Exactly. Move. And that's the, the main trick. Yes. To changing yes. your looks yes. very quickly. Yes. Handbags. How do you handle that? You're in the, um, you know, you're living, you have your handbag and, um, mm -hmm. you know, you need to go to the market. Yes. Uh, and obviously you can't carry this designer bag handbag to go and buy tomatoes, carrots. Yes. Yeah, probably it will even eventually lose value over time. Mm -hmm. So what you do is, uh, because you know you're going to the market and now you're in Kenya and plastic bags have been banned, you have this other bag, yeah, the uh, biodegradable ones. So you'll be wise to get a small pouch and just always put it in your bag and in the trunk of your car. So that when it's time and now you've changed into your nice uh, simple trousers and a nice t-shirt that doesn't make you look too ragged, you'll carry that uh, other biodegradable bag with you to the market and you'll be able to do your purchases there and come back and still be okay, having left your handbag in a safe place. And then now also I think earlier you'd mentioned how do you handle coming back to the office after you've done your day's business and you're coming back to write a report after you had initially offloaded. Yes, so what you need to do is that uh, after you have offloaded and you left what was formal, you know, for formal purposes, uh, obviously you didn't change your attire to go meet the client, you just reduced it so that you suit that environment. If you have to drive an hour out of town, then you can, you know, lessen the tie or maybe just lose it because you're going to someone who is in day-to-day -day business selling and buying. So you also want them to feel they can relate with you if they're selling soda, if it's a kiosk or a shop that's growing a small supermarket then you'll be able to get there and literally just fit in. So once you're coming back to the office, it's good to stop by a shoe shiner if you walked a long distance. Just have your shoes looking the part because the office knows you're out for business, but they definitely do not want you walking in looking like a why you chased, you know? Mm -hmm. So most salespeople are very cautious about image and so it's very advisable on your, on your errand too. Make sure you look the part. Remember we had talked about this in our previous videos that you need to have a good shave, a nice shoe, a nice handbag. So for the lady, if this is your handbag and your shoe, make sure your shoe is polished or at least you pass by a shoe, a shoe, a nice kiwi shoe stand and just have your shoe redone for you as you come back to the office because this says that you actually represented yourself well, succeeded and came back. So now at the office you can pick back your formal look and proceed on to your later events for the day. Right. Yeah. So now I have come back to the office. Mm -hmm. I have done my report. I have a thing with the, with my girls in the evening. Yeah. How how do I dress down again? I need All to look right. the part. Okay, great. So evenings uh, out to the girls is always about partying and just catching up and letting loose, you know, uh, all the tension of the week or of the day. So basically what you do is if you don't have to get home and change, you can now carry an accessory that defines you. It could be a heavy, you know, like a well-decorated uh, ensemble for neck and wrist wear. Obviously, earrings don't really play a part, but just how you assemble yourself for the evening. So it's very good, even as a lady, to have a drawer that has me stuff. You know, me stuff for an urgent meeting, me stuff for address, you know, address they gone wrong, um, 
a wardrobe mishap it's very important as a lady to always have a me place where you don't have to get you know a skirt tripped and you're like oh my god i can't leave the office and i need to be at the clients in 45 minutes no you you know i have needle and thread i just need the washroom or to just lock the door in my office deal with this quickly and then run so yeah ideally if you're meeting your girls just carry an accessory always have one or two accessories at the office that amplify you and just say who you are it can be formal and informal just to have a good balance so if you have to go somewhere you want to look the part the same way it's advisable if you have an unpredictable kind of a job always have a suit in your car the trunk of your car that says this is the suit or this is the jacket for that call if the client calls me right now i'll just need to drape this on and i look the part i'll go and clinch the deal and if it's not for a casual look as women you know we always have some flats in the car or something that's just easy going Ideally, that's how I'd advise the lady to handle it. That me drawer, uh, me section in your day-to-day, -day, everywhere you are, always worked. Yes, mm. in the in the office and probably in your handbag. Yes, on the size of the handbag. Yes, you yes. Need a, a mishap. Yes. Position. Yes. To handle all these yes, things. Yes, yes. Interesting. Yes. I think those are great insights. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely very useful for our viewers and for me too. <laughs> viewers, there you have it. It's um how you manage your day how you can control your day so yes. that you can be able to go from you know from the office to the market to the evening to an evening with the girls to a quick meeting with the client that you yes. do not anticipate yes it's called planning your day and the trick is to dress dress of lord and on and lord yes. that's the trick always have something you can lord yes. something you can offload it yes. works perfectly for you yes and that's that brings us to the end of our show today remember you can catch us on facebook we are mm -hmm. newsline media limited or you can even give us a call or send us an email uh, with your questions and your concerns and your feedback we really appreciate to hear from you until next time my name is grace god bless